They're slimy, they're annoying, they're bottom feeders, and as you may have seen in our Investigation Discovery Show Web of Lies, they're everywhere. That's right, I'm talking about catfish. There have been so many cases of people pretending to be other people online, they've spawned countless true crime shows. And as a private investigator, I would deal with these cases constantly. Today we're going to focus on how we can catfish proof our online dating profiles. Step one, pretend you're a bad guy. Basically what you want to do is look for weaknesses. Um, you want to view your online dating profile like a criminal would and make sure it doesn't scream sucker. This includes things like making sure you don't have a username like soulmate for you. And if you're going through a tough time like a divorce, a separation, you've been widowed, just be careful about how much information you put out there. You don't want to look desperate. Step two, don't buy the sob story. Whether your love interest says he's in Nigeria where his oil rig exploded, or he's waiting for a big inheritance, or he has a hook for a hand, if you can imagine a tiny violin playing in the background while he's telling you his tragic tale, it's probably time to run. Social media experts often say lying is a cooperative act. It doesn't work unless we want to believe. Step three, if it's too good to be true, run. I know none of us want to be lame and generic and write, we love long walks on the beach and sunsets, and that's kind of all we're saying because everyone loves that. You have to keep in mind that if you put something super specific, like I'm looking for someone who's 5'10", 25 years old, speaks Japanese, you need to be wary of anyone who sweeps in and tells you that uh, they're exactly what you want at that time. Be very wary of throwing around words like soulmate after two weeks. Just take a step back, take a deep breath, be careful. Step four, run a Google image search. All you do is go to Google, click on images, drag and drop your uh, dates photo into the search bar. And then you just click search, look at the results page. If the results page brings up similar images, what you want to do is take a closer look because a lot of scammers use stock model photography websites. I've seen catfish using everything from a 20 year old picture of Glenn Fry the Eagles to Victoria's Secret supermodels. Um, and even Daniel Craig is James Bond. And unfortunately for me, he did not show up for the date. Step five, if they won't meet, hit delete. Remember that it really should be called online meeting, not online dating. Um, even if the person on the other end is legit, there's just no way to determine chemistry um, through the phone. There's so many nuances of body languages that you'll never get through an email conversation. So you need to see him in person. Um, get him in front of you for coffee as soon as possible. Because getting emotionally involved with someone you can't meet or even Skype with a clear picture is investing time and energy and emotion into a fantasy, not a real person. Step six, the key to successful online dating, remember to keep your heart open and your wallet closed. Repeat after me, never, ever, ever send money to anyone. My last tip is get professional help. A lot of the instant background checks that charge $19.95 and promise to give you all the answers don't or they're incomplete. Some people don't want to spend a couple hundred dollars to get a proper background check. But if you're talking about sending thousands of dollars via Western Union, spending a little bit of money to do a proper background check and make sure you know what you're dealing with could be the best money you've ever spent.